everyone, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be doing another vlog. So I am on to my third book on my reads of 2019 list, um, Girls of Paper and Fire by Natasha Nagan. I started it last night and I only got maybe 10 pages in because I wanted to go to sleep, but I... I'm excited to get further in. I don't know a lot about what the story is about, but I'm just going to read it and find out. And I know I've been vlogging a lot recently, or like, you guys wouldn't know that much because I've been trying to post between vlogs, so it's not just constant vlogs on my channel. Um, but I just finished my Wicked King vlog yesterday, or actually, I finished the Wicked King yesterday. I finished the vlog today because I did my like final uh, thoughts but I'm going to be continuing to read Girls of Paper and Fire because it's Martin Luther King Day tomorrow, so my high school was already, like, shut down, or, like, closed, not shut down. Folk, <laughs> stop this. But my high school was already, um, like, off for the day, and with the such bad weather that we're having in Ohio, with the low temperatures and the snow drifts, and the wind, you know, the university that I take classes at closed as well. And I think we're just gonna end up having a entire community day off. So that'll be kind of nice. And I will just be able to sit and read, focus on the book as well. Do I need to put it over here and read? <laughs> but those are my plans. Wanted you guys to meet my girl Frizz. She's my um, baby horsey. I was just about to get on and walk her around a little bit, so I just wanted to introduce you to her Frizz. Whoa, whoa. She's a little feisty because she's been um, in the stall because it's so cold out. <laughs> but um, I'm about to get on and just walk around a little bit so she gets some a little bit of exercise and gets out of the stall, so that's what's about to happen. She's a little feisty. So, you know, I decided let's just discuss I don't know what and eat because I need an eating break right now. It's not even 10 in the morning and I need an eating break. I'm putting hot sauce in this because I am a hot sauce fiend. You know, Tuesday was National Hot Sauce Day. 
I was sad that I missed it, like, without knowing. You know, my mouth is watering just smelling and looking at this all. Mm. What do we talk about? Oh, there's a lot. Weather in Ohio sucks right now. I'm literally looking at probably like right here, right there. A 10 foot snow wall in a parking lot. Like, why does Ohio have to be so bad when like, not that long ago, it felt like it was spring. And now it's like full force winter. Oh, Ohio kind of sucks sometimes. I'm not contributing a lot to this conversation because I'm eating. I have to go to school today. I haven't been. This is Friday. I have not been to school a single day this week. And now I have to go. I'm a little disappointed. But, it's okay. I'm gonna get some reading done. Oh, I'm there. It'll be fine. It'll be great. No, it won't be great, but it'll be fine. I have time for a bottle, actually. School starting in about four minutes. I'm not there. I had college class this morning. And I'm using it as an excuse to take my sweet time to dinner. So, like I needed to mention for the horse riding portion of this video, don't do as I do. Get to school on time, kids. I had to have study halls all morning. So, that's why I'm not going. But, go to school, be on time. Trust me, I was not on time last semester, and I got attention. I'll pray for it. Be on time. Eat your fruits and veggies. Believe in Santa Claus? I don't know. Don't do as I do. Like, uh, there's not really any other moral to the story. I'm just kind of a bad influence on children. So. Update on earlier today. I mentioned that I was going to go get gas later. That didn't happen when I thought it was going to happen because when I went to the gas station, I realized that I don't have my card with me. So basically what happened is... I had to try and get back to school on two bars of gas. And then I got one bar of gas lost as soon as I pulled out of the Walmart parking lot. And about a mile away from my school, I lost my final bar of gas. So I rolled into school with no bars of gas. Luckily, a friend helps me out, gets me some gas so I can get around. Um, because she lives closer to the school than I do. She uh, hops in my car. We go to that the gas station that's like less than five minutes from her house. Thank you so much, darling Hayden. Thank you for that again, if you're watching this. I am about to start filming my recommends for school for Girls of Paper and Fire by Natasha Nagan. Even though I haven't finished it yet, I'm really liking it, so I'm going to do my recommends. I have my setup right here, and I can give you guys a little behind the scenes kind of look into it. But um, I have a kind of synopsis y thing written down, and there's the camcorder right there. 
Um, it is for my video productions class for our weekly news. I do book recommendations. Um, and I decided to recommend Girls of Paper and Fire so I can put this part in the vlog and because I'm really enjoying it and want to recommend it. So that's what's going down. As you can see, I just have this camcorder from the video room and then just looking over to my little setup. I generally prop the book up so you can see it while I'm doing this and then I'll go with the synopsis that I have written down and it's just a fun time. This week's book recommendation is Girls of Paper and Fire by Natasha Nagant. Finished it. So last night I finished Girls of Paper and Fire by Natasha Nagan. I gave it five stars and it is definitely going to have a spot on my favorite shelf. I already have the spot cleaned out for it because I loved it so much. I really enjoyed the whole cast system and everything that was like said within this book was amazing. You know, you can, you can't see them. Okay, focus on the you can kind of see them there all of the tabs I put in there quite a few but uh, like I said I gave it five stars the only issues I had with it are that um, the main character Lee it's Lee right Lee or Lei however you pronounce it would get a little annoying when she was dealing with Ren um, and their relationship just a little bit not too much and then the whole <laughs> The thing that bothered me the most about this book is we still have the, like, girl hating the main character for absolutely no reason. Uh, and those were my only issues with it. But like I said, overall I really enjoyed it. I think this is going to end up being a favorite of the year. And I am going to go put it down on my bookshelf. And I really, really enjoyed it.